Could this season make or break quarterback Jalen Hurts? In this video, we are going to dive into some of the All-22 film on a couple areas that I think he has to improve on to be able to take that next step. Also, at the end of this video, since it is an Eagles video, we're going to show you how to win this A.J. Brown card. So stick around for that. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Okay, so we're going to look at some of the tape against the Buccaneers in the playoffs. And right here, straight cover zero, and they bring seven-man pressure. And if you see it right before the snap, he's going to be able to recognize this, and he waves at the bottom of the receiver, bottom of the screen receiver. He just gives him a little wave, and what this is telling him is run his go. The problem is when you do something like this, it's still such a low percentage type of play. He gets pressure right to the face. He gets hit as he's thrown, and then it's just knocked away. The issue that I have with this right now is there is no hot protection right here. Jalen Hurts has to check somebody, and it this is either on Jalen Hurts or it's on the offense coordinator, but they cannot have hot protection throws just be down the field throws. They have to be short to intermediate to allow himself to get rid of that football. Now on this next one right here, Jalen Hurts does a good job of replacing the blitz and throws a quick slant, but I honestly feel like he's having a bad tendency of zeroing in on one guy and it's either him or nobody. So they are orbit return motioning the tight end and what is that's going to do is he's now the swing guy and the running back is going to be the lead block for the swing. This would have been a great outlet for instant pressure but instead he goes with the one on one slant route which isn't terrible but when you get pressure right to the face it would be much easier if Jalen Hurts just checked it off to the swing. You're going to see right here. Yes, there is open grass right here for the slant, but you have a defender right at the face of Jalen Hurts. Open up his hips, throw it out to the swing and open grass, and you have that lead blocker. This is going to make him a lot more higher percentage thrower rather than having these where he has to fade away as he's getting pressure on the face. You'll be able to see it right here on the end zone copy because he gets this pressure right to the face. Like say, they're sending six, only protecting five, so someone's going to be hot He's forced to throw it, and he's getting pushed back as he throws, and it makes that an inaccurate football. On this next one, once again, it's a seven-man pressure. Jalen Hurts decides to go to his one-on-one -on -one matchup, which is not a terrible idea. But once again, with that pressure, Jalen Hurts is not sitting strong in that pocket, and he's throwing off his back foot. Sometimes in the NFL, you're going to have to take one to the chin. He has to stand in there tall, and he has to throw this curl route quicker and sooner. Instead, Throws it a little bit late, but he throws it off his back foot and this ball sails on him. And now whatever down and distance it, this is, it's now second and 10 on the next play or third and 10 on the next play. He's got to be able to hang in there and deliver a tight ball. Real quick before the next one, if you're liking this video, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. We do a lot of film breakdowns on this channel, so join the team and join the fam. So I don't want to talk about all bad. Of course, Jalen Hurts is a talented quarterback. Here's a situation where they get it all locked up. They go with a seven-man protection here. He's got all day to throw, and he's able to hit the deep post route. By far, Jalen Hurts is not a terrible quarterback. You've just got to protect him right now. Defensive coordinators want to send pressure and get right at his face. That's when they're seeing that percentage come down. If you give him time, he's able to find those receivers down the field for big plays. Eagles have to make sure that they get more of this. So on this next one, I think it's a result of getting so much pressure that at times Jalen Hurts doesn't hang into the pocket. They send five-man pressure here. They go cover two man, and you know they're able to block everybody up. He gets a slant and a hitch at the top of the screen, but Jalen Hurts flushes out of this pocket a little bit too soon. Right here, he is already starting to escape, and the pocket is still fairly clean if he steps up. He's got his tight ends breaking on a slant route with a lot of grass in the middle of the field. Instead, he feels pressured. He flushed out, and then this play goes absolutely nowhere. He's got to be able to stand in those pockets and be able to keep his eyes down the field. This cannot continue into the next season. And so on this next one right here, you're in an empty formation. And right now, this could be cover one. It could be cover three. So you got to do your post-snap recognition. But I feel like this is an example of Jalen Hurts just sticking to one guy pre-snap. 
I'll freeze it right here. He gets a fifth man pressure and right here at the post snap, this looks to me like cover one, but you're backed off. He's got to get off this tight end. He is just staring this tight end slant route. And if this overhang defender wants to stick onto him, he's got the mini dig on the outside with a corner that's at leverage of 10 to 12 yards down the field. But instead, he tries to force this and it's incomplete. You'll see it from the end zone copy. It just seems like he's going to his tight end no matter matter what right here snap step and right here it just looks like he's locked on no matter what he's getting pressure to the face he's got to be able to come off of that once he sees the defender sticking get it out there to your mini dig with a whole lot of whole lot of space but instead tries to force it into a tight window with pressure right to the face and it's incomplete This is a Jalen Hurts quarterback that has an immense amount of talent that can reach the potential of maybe being an MVP quarterback, but at least leading his team deep and far in the postseason and potentially threatening to win a championship. I do believe that, but it's also a quarterback that if he doesn't grow on his inefficiencies could find himself just kind of fading away in the wind. I do. I it Jalen Hurts is a crazy scenario situation. He's a guy who could go to the peaks, and he's a guy who could fall to the ashes. And it's going to be interesting to see. You're already hearing some reports out there. You know, you're already hearing some reports out there that Kenny Pickett is outperforming Jalen Hurts in OTAs. And I, I don't know how much you want to read into that. Kenny Pickett is a whole nother case within himself. I don't believe, I don't buy stock into Kenny Pickett being better than, than Jalen Hurts. But Jalen Hurts, this is his job to lose, and this is his career to lose, and he's got to be able to grow. And it's not just Jalen Hurts. The offense coordinator has to be on the same page. I think he's got to put in more hot route scenarios, and they've got to be able to live with the short to intermediate throws to develop the longer down the field. All right, so there's that. Jalen Hurts, can he make the proper steps to take that next step and get Philadelphia back on top and potentially win in a Super Bowl? As far as this A.J. Brown card, what you need to do to be able to win this is be subscribed to the Coach Plays and just put in the comments section below A.J. Brown. A little bit later, probably within the next couple of days or a week or so, I will be doing a random draw and then I will select and I will post back in the reply that you won the card and then I will get you to DM me your address. So A.J. Brown, absolute football card could be yours. Put in the comment section, A.J. Brown. As always, guys, stay humble, stay kind. Peace.